Hey y'all, what's up? Uh, whew, it is such a beautiful day. My hair is crazy because I had the windows down. I was singing some Alanis Morissette the weekend on the way here. <laughs> it's been a good day. It's really nice out. So I'm about to head into the thrift store. I have about an hour um, before my husband has to leave and I need to get back to the kids. So yeah, let's see what we get. When I first enter the store, I usually check out these books and board games, but today I decided to go forward and try to find some children's shoes and toys because I've been having a lot of luck with them lately. So I'm hoping to strike gold. I then move on to the women's section. I'm checking shoes first at the top of the racks, but if something on a hanger catches my attention, I might go ahead and grab it and give it a look over, but definitely I'm kind of going with through shoes first before hitting the clothing. The next area is kind of my halfway point in the store. It's the boys clothing section. So I'm looking over my cart to see what I've got so far and if I like what I'm picking up. I then move on to housewares. You know I gotta check out these pots and pans and definitely stay tuned for the actual haul because I think I found some goodies. Now I'm flipping through the records and you know, I don't typically look through records even, even though we are record collectors in our household, but that Lily Tomlin kind of caught my attention and I wanted to take a peek. I have not fully done research on the best way to ship records to make sure that they don't break or even melt. So I'm a little hesitant right now to dive into them, but I'm curious to know if you see me flipping through this, if you see any goodies that I passed over, uh, maybe it's a missed opportunity and I should look into records more. All right, guys, I was kind of down to the wire uh, on that one. Oops. I was kind of down to the wire on that one, so I got to get going home because my husband has to get going. Whew. All right, let's do the haul. All right, so I hope you enjoyed a little bit of thrift with me action. That was my first time really attempting that, so, um, you know, it'll get better. It'll get better, but um, I thought it'd be fun to share a little sneak peek of one of my favorite stops um, in town here to thrift. So I have a lot of goodies. I spent, um, let's see, I, I spent like $70 and the prices here are always really good compared to Goodwill. So as you can guess, I got a lot of stuff. So it's a variety of items. It's probably going to take us a good 20 minutes to get through it. So grab a drink and just enjoy the ride, right? <laughs> okay. So I'm going to start with clothing items and then I'm going to work into like housewares and children's things. Okay. All right. Ooh, this is just a great way to start. Okay. This is a shirt by the mountain. Oh, it's so epic. Look at that wolf or coyote. Uh, the flames or wisps behind it make me think like a kraken is going to attack it, but I don't think that's what's happening here. But yeah, this is a shirt by the mountain. Um, wait, can you see it? Oh shoot. It's so faded. You can hardly see that it's by the mountain, but it is usually the mountain like prints it on there. So you can kind of see. Um, so hopefully I can find the size. I would guess this is like an adult, smaller medium, but they just make these wild shirts. I love selling them. They don't go for like a ton of money, but, um, they're just fun to sell. So I think I got this for like $2. I can't even find the tag. So Let's see here. Yeah, I got it for $2.99. I'm okay with that just to have some fun t-shirts in my closet for sure. Next, I have a pair of um, like little boys. Oops, sorry for my computer noise. Oops, okay. <laughs> I muted it. So next I have um, a pair of like little boys Levi's jean shorts. How cool are these? I think these are vintage um, just based on like the paper tag here. And as you can see, they're only $1.99, but the paper tag says it's a 566 loose fit size seven. So I don't know. I just thought people might be out there trying to dress their kids in 90s cool. So I got these. They have like the perfect amount of like a little bit of wear and distressing without being, you know, totally beat up. I love these shorts so much. If I could get my kid to wear jeans, he would be wearing them, but alas, he refuses. Okay. <laughs> Next, I have another pair of Levi's. These really intrigued me. So these are red Levi's. Um, they definitely seem vintage. They have a paper tag in here that says size five. Um, they're made in Hong Kong. So maybe they're not vintage. I'm not sure. So I have to do some research. Usually if they're made in USA, you know for sure. But they have like this yellow or orange tab on the back. You can see like the back of the like label there. I don't know what's going on with these, but they're really cool. They are like a skinny leg um, 
high rise. Uh, it looks like there's at least like a 10 inch rise there. So yeah, I don't know. These are pretty cool. I tried to look up comps and I couldn't exactly find anything like this. Maybe one pair going for like 40 or something. So we shall see. We shall see how those pan out for me. Oh my gosh. And now my dog's barking. You guys, I'm just... <laughs> if I could just get through a video. Like the kids aren't even home. I thought this would be the perfect time to do this. Um, anyway, <laughs> this is just like a super cool um, denim vest. Truthfully guys, I don't know why I keep picking these up because I don't think other people want them besides myself. And it's like a very small or maybe a kid's size. This is wallflower. It says it's a size medium, but it's pretty little. So I'm guessing it's for a kid, but I just think denim vests are so cool. So anyway, I grabbed it we shall see. We shall see. Maybe if I put like a fun patch on it, maybe that would kind of help give it more character. Like my instinct is to make it like just blank for the person to do their thing, but maybe some people kind of want it done already. So I have a variety of patches around. Maybe I could just do that. Okay. These I just got for myself, y'all. These are just some like little black comfy shorts. I don't know. They're by reflex. I don't think that's anything too special. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't even know. They're just comfy. I just want some comfy shorts. Okay, I do love this next sweatshirt. It's a crew neck sweatshirt by Nike. Um, it just, it's green, like Kelly green with just this simple Nike swoosh on the side. Um, you know, I wish it was like a center swoosh because then it'd be worth a lot of money because Travis Scott wore that. Now everyone wants it. But yeah, this is, um, you can see the Nike tag here. It's a size extra large, um, just classic simple crew neck sweatshirt so i bet i could get 20 or 30 for that and i paid let's find out 3.99 sadly i don't remember what the color of the week was during this trip so i have no idea if some of these items were like 25 percent off or whatever I'm, i was a little disappointed because on fridays they usually do like a big like 20 percent off your overall purchase and it was a friday when i went but there was no deal like that it was just like three dollars off a $25. I don't know. So I did get some kind of a deal, but it wasn't epic like I wanted it to be. These are some SpongeBob um, sweatpants that I got for my best friend's daughter. She's at her house every day and I just like to have some extra clothes for when they play outside. And anyway, um, they've been watching a lot of SpongeBob and it cracks me up. So what does it say? Best day ever. <laughs> That's so fun. And then I grabbed these Nike shorts where okay yeah sorry struggle bus purple mesh nike shorts i love that they have like the spandex under them i feel like other people will be into that i love the bright color um i don't think like a lot of nike shorts do well on their own so maybe i could find another pair or two in the same size and, and make a little bundle but these are just like i said they're pretty cool they're only 2.99 they're size medium and they just have that like spandex stuff going on underneath them so i think that's kind of cool if you know anything about this style of short, I've never really seen these by Nike. So if you know anything about this, I would love to hear what you have to say. Okay, next I have shoes. Um, I've been loving, loving picking up shoes lately. They've been selling super well for me. Um, I do have a couple pair of children's shoes, so I'll show those off first. These are some native um, water shoes. I call them water shoes, but I guess they're more of like an everyday shoe, but they have, they're you know, rubber plastic. Um, I love like the pink pearlescent. A magic eraser will clean them up pretty well. I did find one flaw after I got them home, which is right here. It's a little clipped to where that dot is. So that's kind of a bummer. Maybe I'll get 15 or 20 for these. I don't even see the price tag. So I think I paid probably $2 for them. Um, but yeah, Native is a great children's brand to pick up. Um, I just recently sold a silver pair of native shoes for $25 on Kitizen. So if I could get 15 or 20 for these that are in a little worse condition, that's pretty cool. Native is a great brand to look out for as well as Play, P-L-A-E, and Crocs, which I'm about to show you. I know it's showing a lot of Crocs in my videos lately, but they're just flying off the shelf. So anytime I see them, I just pick them up. These were $1.99. They're in really great condition. They are a little unique how they have the Crocs cut out here and they have like some detailing here. These look like some true water shoes, you know, but anyway, the soles are okay. They're a little worn, as you can see, like uh, a little soft here. So I'll just disclose all of that, but I sold some in similar condition for 12 or $15 recently. And it's usually a pretty quick flip um, selling these. So I'm happy about that. I love the bright blue color too. 
Also in the Crocs realm, I have these women's wedges. These are pretty darn cute, if I do say so myself. Um, I really like the style. They look like they've hardly even been worn, you know. These are a women's eight and they were $5.99. So I'm good with that. I think they're a really cute style. So I'm excited to get these listed ASAP as it's, you know, summer season. People are getting ready to get out this summer as things are opening back up. It's so exciting. Final pair of shoes um, are actually some baseball cleats. Um, I am going to list these. Gosh, I should have listed them like the moment I got them because it is baseball season. But, you know, now that my son is playing baseball, I am so much more aware of like how expensive stuff is and what you need um and cleats I mean we bought him some new cleats and they were like 30 or 40 bucks maybe more it was crazy so these I got for three dollars they will be his size like actually he could probably wear these this season or next season they're size kids one but I think I could sell them for at least 25 I'm guessing I don't actually know but they're really nice Nike cleats um I'm pretty sure they're baseball cleats I guess I should have checked that let's see Nike elastics Sometimes it'll say, oh yeah, they are baseball. So right there on the tag, it says an abbreviated form of Nike baseball. So yeah, it's that season. So we better, ugh, I better get those listed. I think I, I think they'll do well, honestly, because I was checking eBay when I was buying him like batting gloves and, um, you know, like an actual like catching glove and stuff like that. I was checking eBay and everywhere, just trying to catch a break, catch a deal. Okay. What else do I have? Okay, we're transitioning from clothing and shoes into home goods and things. I found this towel. Guys, I don't know. I might have something cool here. I don't know, but it's beach season, so why not get a cool... Here, I'm going to shimmy it on back. This is a Charlottesville Hornets basketball towel, and it's in great condition. And I'm going to find you, like, there is a tag on it, so that's kind of cool. It'll give us some more info, maybe. Where'd you go, Tag? Um, the Charlottesville Hornets, I think of them because, like, I don't know, in the 90s, I feel like they were a big team that people loved. Like, I personally just love the colors purple and teal, so I was, like, a pretend fan of them. And, like, Muggsy Bowes, was it Muggsy Bowes? Was, like, one of the major players who's so short but so good. Anyway, this has a paper tag. It says NBA. It does not say a year on it. But, yeah, I feel like that's a, this paper tag is kind of an indicator that it could be vintage. So yeah, I'll look it over a little bit more and see if I can figure out how to, to age it. So if you have any info there, that would be great. I also in the linens department just found this Minecraft blanket. <laughs> so this will just be going in our house. It's a TNT Minecraft blanket. It's not a vintage crocheted blanket like the fire resellers have been selling for hundreds of dollars, but um, we have like a creeper blanket and something else. So my kids will love this to snuggle up with. And it was only $3 compared to like $15 at Target. So I will take that. Okay, what else do we have here? We have some more house home goods items, housewares. I picked up these three green vases. Oh my gosh, I love, I love all this together. Like seeing it like this makes me really feel like I made a good choice. So my goal here was to put these three together for like a collector. Um, I'm just kind of like dabbling in kind of curating some small collections like this, but I know that colored glass is definitely a thing and people collect, you know, their colors. And so to kind of get someone going with like a bundle of three like this, and I think this green is just so beautiful and these pieces are so unique that I feel really good about it. I don't know the price point, but I'm guessing I could sell it for like 20 to $30. Um, I don't remember checking any of these for like labels, you know, um, the makers, but let's see, I paid overall $4 for the three pieces. So I feel like that's pretty good. And I think they look so beautiful together. Have you ever, um, shopped for or sold glass pieces like that together? I'd be curious to hear your thoughts on it. Um, yeah, so we'll see what happens there. I also picked up, this was probably a bad pickup, <laughs> honestly. I picked up this friend's like coffee mug. I just thought it was so cute and it's clearly new. Like it has like the little paper in there. It's got a tag here. It's $2.99. But Central Park friends, like that's like some nostalgia. That's a thing right now. So we'll see. We'll see what this will go for. Maybe 10 or 15. Um, or maybe it'll just be nice to have it as a gift, like a random gift. You know, sometimes it's nice to squirrel new with tag items away for when you have a sudden um, event to go to or a gift you need to give someone. 
Um, next, I caught, uh, found a bunch of Revere wear. I think I'm, I showed you in the thrift with me, like a clip of me checking some stuff over. So I have a variety of pots and pans. So that's exciting. Um, and I do believe it's vintage. Oh gosh, I wish I would have taken these tags off. Underneath, you can, you can't see anything, but I'm, I've learned basically what the logo looks like. And so I could see like the little Patriot hat <laughs> sticking out below this. But this is some uh, like one quart Revere Wear little saucepan. Um, and then another one with a lid. So I don't know if these will go together or not. The difference is that this one's copper bottom and this one is not. So I think this one is a little more modern. I got it for $2.99. This one was $1.99. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure how to bundle these if I should or not, but I do have a few other Revere wear pieces that I've picked up and that are currently listed. So I'm, I'm probably going to just keep like putting them together to make like a better bundle, a better deal for the person because the shipping won't really change that much, adding just a little bit of, you know, an extra pot or two. And then I also found this Revere wear skillet. So this is a copper bottom skillet. Um, in great condition. Man, this stuff is really built to last, isn't it? And this was $2.99 as well. So what I'm going to do with these to get them cleaned up is I use Barkeeper's Friend. If you have any advice on things you do to clean up pots and pans, put it in the comments so we can all learn from it. But Barkeeper's Friend has done really well. I mean, this doesn't really need much. It just needs a little, I don't know what to do with the copper there, if I can shine it with the Barkeeper's Friend or not. Um, and same here, just, you know, give it a little scrub, see if I can get some of that stuff off of there. But people love this stuff, and like I said, it's built to last. So I think that I'll do really well with these. I just have to decide how I'm going to bundle them all together to make it the best value for the buyer and, you know, best profit for myself. And then speaking of Revere Wear, I found another um, tea kettle. You can see it there. This is not necessarily... Wait, actually, maybe it would be vintage at this point. This is like a 90s tea kettle. Um, so you can see on the bottom it says Revere Wear. But it does say, like... Uh, made in China, um, so it's not USA made, but it is a copper bottom tea kettle, $2.99 I paid for it. And I recently, th this was in like a haul from two months ago or so, and I sold the uh, one just like this for like 40 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. So this one's in a little worse condition, but it does open up. Um, it just needs a good clean, right? Like that's where we're at. It just needs a good clean. I think it'll do really well. So if I could get another $30 for that, Holy cow, I would be so excited. So I will not bundle the tea kettle with the pots because that's just, we're working with different customers here. But um, yeah, that last one did really well. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Okay, I picked up a few toys. I got like this uh, Ninja Turtles ball. Um, I don't know, I might like bundle this up with some other Ninja Turtles plush if I find it. Or my good friend Yeti is obsessed with Ninja Turtles. So Yeti, if you're watching, like let me know if you want this. Um, I just, yeah, I thought it'd be cool to pick it up. It's a Thai Beanie Balls. And I do think people collect these. I pay 99 cents for it. Um, I don't ha currently have any Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle plush in, uh, in my closet right now because someone bundled it all up and bought it together. Um, but sometimes it's good just to hold on to the stuff and build a bundle as you go. So yeah, Ninja Turtles. And a shout out to Yeti. We are going to be talking about um, vintage toys and how to identify like bootlegs and stuff like that very soon. So just make sure you subscribe to my channel now if you're interested in vintage toys because he and I are going to do a chat. And then I also have this, oh my goodness, Llama Llama. Um, <laughs> this is a toy from like 2018. So it's not, not new at all or not old at all but it's a 99 Night Llama Llama. And the, this book series is near and dear to my heart and I know it's so popular too. So I have a few um, Llama Llama books. So I'm gonna put it like from my kids collection, put it with the plushie and make a cute little bundle. So I got this for $1.99 and I haven't looked up comps, but I think this plus a book would go for like 15 to 20. Um, and it's just really cute and sweet. I also got this crazy Scooby-Doo. You may have seen in my thrift with me footage, Oh my gosh, my son was so, when he was like three or four, he was so into Scooby-Doo. And so I love this. This, I was like, okay, what is he, did he get run over by the mystery machine or what? He's so flat, but it's something, it still has the tag here. It's something called like the Huggable. Um, where did I find that? Maybe I found it during during my comp search. So anyway, this is supposed to be like um, a Huggable, like sleepy plush that isn't super fluffy. And so that's a thing. It does have a voice box in there somewhere, but I cannot get it to work. So I might try putting a new battery in it or just sell it 
as like, you know, the voice box needs a battery, but I saw comps for 50 bucks for this thing. So I do think it's a unique item um, and I'm excited to get it listed. It's in great condition. Like I said, it's, it's new with tag basically, but it doesn't, the voice box isn't working, but it's pretty good size too. I mean, look at, we're snuggling up over here. Okay, also in the toys realm, I shared this on my Instagram uh, page. So if you're not following me there, like follow me because I'll do like daily just kind of showing off things or cool sales that happen, stuff like that. But these are um, a bunch of Schleich toys. Um, you're not gonna be able to see that. My camera's not gonna pick it up. But on the bottom, this is Schleich. That's spelled S-C-H-L-E-I-C-K. And I do think there's maybe a year on here, 1998. So these are German toys that are highly sought after. They're very popular. They are expensive when you buy them new and they resell for okay money too. So I actually sold a water buffalo. Um, I believe that's in one of my what solds. So I'll pop it up here and you can go back and watch that. But um, I sold a water buffalo for like 20 bucks or more. So I have a whole bag here. I have a zebra. I have an orca whale. This is like so 90s it hurts. I don't know why orca whales were so popular popular in the 90s, maybe because SeaWorld and Free Willy. And then you hear all the terrible treatment of those animals, but I'm not gonna bum out this video. Okay, we have a bald eagle. This one was harder to tell that it was like because on the bottom, it didn't have anything, but it's tucked in the tail is where the actual label is. So that's kind of cool. Um, I have a panda bear. Cute. All of these just need a scrub. I'm just gonna like put them in the um, sink and like scrub them with my, I have a scrub daddy. I love those sponges. We have this little tiger, little snow tiger. Are white tigers called snow tigers? I don't know, but it's a cub. So it's a little baby, baby, baby. A monkey, love it. I'm telling you like this bag, I was so stoked when I saw this bag. I actually couldn't tell when I found the bag if these were Schleich or not, but they looked really good. So I just grabbed it because the bag was $5. So this is a bear. Um, and then it's not, it's a regular old buffalo, not a water buffalo. So that's cool. I'm kind of into that. Or is that a bull? No, that's a buffalo. Chelsea, get your animals straight. Okay, so I know that's like a lot of like random animal figurines, but this is money in my hands right now. And I'm sad that I haven't listed any of this stuff yet, but especially these because I know they'll do really well. So um, I might lot some of the like kind of more like safari animals up. I don't know how to do that. Or like I think of these as like, I think of these as like America animals, like a bear, a uh, bear. Uh, a buffalo, an eagle, and then some of the like kind of more like animals from Africa, a tiger, a zebra. I don't know if I should bundle them or not, but I'm excited to kind of look up comps and get them listed. And also I'm going to just share now that I'm going to go over like, um, these, this Schleich brand of toys and find some of the most valuable ones and make a video about it so that we can all learn together what to look out for. But basically anything that says Schleich, I think you'll do well. So once again, that's S-C-H-L-E-I-C-H. -E and you can see it on the Orca. No, y'all can't. I'm sorry. So yeah, I'm really excited because I mean, that water buffalo went for 20. So here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That could be a hundred bucks right there. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm clearing, I'm checking. Oh, I forgot one pair of shoes, Brad. Okay, I forgot one more thing and they are a pair of Keds, oops, backwards, that are Kate Spade Keds. And look at how adorable. You can see there's maybe a little a little dirt here, so I'll, I'll clean them up with soap, but otherwise they're in very good condition. Um, the bottom there is like hardly worn, so that's good. These were $4, and I have not looked up the comps for Kate Spade Keds. So you let me know, um, you let me know if you think they're worth a lot of money or not. I'm excited to see. I mean, I'm guessing $20 because I feel like collaborations don't do as well as, you know, just getting some Kate Spade shoes, but I'm still excited to find them in my little thrift shop. Okay, so that's all that I have for you today. I appreciate you so much. Uh, drop a comment below. And let me know what you thought about some of the items that I picked up. If you have any advice for me and, and th the whole community, we'll all read it and, and accept that. So I appreciate it. Um, have a good day and I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.